So, um, I did face Alec again in this one. I picked a different team, but he picked this, the exact same team he used. I used Annoying to Fight somewhat. <laughs> I named all my teams uh, very interesting names. Not names based off of trainers like Juanitos, but like it's just more like how I personally feel <laughs> with them. How they can personally affect the meta, or at least when they go against my friends, how they would feel during the circumstances. So here's Alex's second take on this team, and I'm being using an entirely different team. I did think he was going to start with Steelix again, but I don't... Oh yeah, he sent out Latios. Hold up. Gotta lower the volume. There we go. Um, so I sent in uh, Heat Ran, and he sent in Latios, and I think, yeah, I just go ahead with the Stealth Rock. Like I said, I don't really remember anything that happened in these matches, so this is just blind at this point. Um, I would switch, yeah, that's that's not a bad choice, considering the fact that it is Psychic. I always have to keep in mind that I do confuse myself with a few Psychic types actually being fairies instead, but Latios is one of those things that I know it's Psychic, not Fairy Dragon, because holy hell, imagine... That would probably be fucking broken. A Fairy and Dragon type. Yeah, I think I used Stone Edge initially, but then I wanted to switch into Ice Punch. I am going to Mega Evolve this Tyranitar. And Alex switches it into Steelix, and I managed to Ice Punch the Steelix. Uh, I was definitely not going to use Sturdy on me because it got hurt by the Stealth Rock anyway. I should stay in with Earthquake. I would not want to switch into anything else because Steelix is, has enough strength to like KO some of my Pokemon. Yeah, it managed to take a good Earthquake. And it kills my Tyranitar, actually. Awesome. <laughs> I would honestly have thought that Alec was going to set up with Stealth Rocks, but I guess not. That Steelix managed to take out my pseudo. So send in Heat Ran and Magma Storm. I should do Magma Storm. Steelix is not. I use Earth Power, okay. <laughs> Whatever, I knock it out anyway, so that's fine. But I wouldn't probably use in, uh, Magma Storm. Unless there's an entirely different reason why I chose to use Earth Power. I probably thought he was going to switch uh, to. Yeah, Empoleon, there we go. <laughs> Actually, that does make sense why I decided to use Earth Power. Uh, makes sense a lot more. But, yeah. I should be probably sending it to our Kartana. Because uh, Kartana is going to be faster and hits pretty hard and has beast mode uh, every time we do a KO. So here's Kartana against his Empoleon. We're both steel types, so if the, even if the sand was still around, it probably wouldn't be doing much. I'm very disappointed that I did lose Tyranitar so early. It's just, it hurts hurts on the inside. I predict he's not going to stick with Empoleon. Like, he's probably going to switch into Infernape, so I either go with Knockoff or Sacred Sword. If it looks to me, I went with Knockoff. And he went to Latios, which is just really unfortunate. Like, I honestly, I legitimately thought he was going to switch into Infernape. I didn't, literally did not think he was going to switch into Latios. And I'm going to be faster so I can kill the Latios right here. And yeah, that's, there's two Pokemon down. Now, there's the Infernape. See, because I'm Grass Steel, you would think that that's like the first thing he'd like throw out at me. So, he uses Mock Punch, so I gave me enough priority to actually knock off his Focus Sash and do a lot of damage on top of that. I should switch out to either Greninja or Latios. I don't switch into Heat Ran or Chansey because he Infernape can literally destroy both of them. Okay, I guess I switch into Heat Ran. Well, with Flash Fire, okay, yeah, that's fine, I guess. But Infernape is still faster, and I'm Steel type. Why did I? Why did I switch into Heat Ran? <laughs> Whatever. He switches out to Empoleon, and I predicted it, and I did Earth Power. Little to my no surprise, it didn't do that much as I was anticipating. <laughs> um. Now that I'm really looking at this team, I would assume Empoleon is really the supporter, and Steelix may just be an offensive Steelix, I guess. That's how I'm looking at it now. So I switch into Chansey. There's pretty much the only Pokemon I can probably rely on. I mean, I could send in Latios, but it requires a lot of setups for me to actually do something against his Empoleon. So I think Chansey was the best bet, so I just pretty much used Cyber Cross for a while. Yeah, he sends out back. He sends Infernape back, but uh, yeah, it's knocked out by the size of the toss. <laughs> so I assume Gar. Oh, Lucario. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I was thinking Garchomp for some reason. 
so I know I should not be staying in. But looking at my <laughs> gameplay here, I'm honestly surprising myself more so than anything. <laughs> so I should switch into Lazio's. Lots of, or I stay with, right, you know what, that's actually true, because I'm, Eevee Light makes me more defensive. I, it's just I'm in the mentality that Chansey is more specially defensive, but Eevee Light gives it more defense. Sends in Garchomp. Um, so if I, if I decide to be an asshole and stay with Chansey, or, okay, I actually do switch to Cartana. Stone Edge misses, thank god. I think that would have been enough to kill him, so I decide to go for Leaf, Stab Leaf Blade. Because in my opinion, no matter which one he throws in, I think Leaf Blade will do enough damage. And he sends out Empoleon, which in my opinion would probably be the worst decision. Even though he's not going to take super effective Leaf Blade, I still think uh, Empoleon was the worst option. I still think Lucario would have been a better option. So he sends back Garchomp, and I either switch to Lazio. Okay, I go for the Leaf Blade again. That's my That was my second guess I was going to make. Like I either stay and decide to go for Leaf Blade all the way, now that I have Beast Bo now I have the Beast Boost, or switch out to Latios, but considering the fact that Latios is weak to Dragon, I think that would not be the case. So, finishing off Lucario with Leaf Blade. Or he kills me with Vacuum. <laughs> That's exactly how like, how my mentality goes when I'm like watching this. I'm pretty much thinking like how I would be thinking in this video. Uh, I should send out Latios or Heat Ran. He there's no way Lucario could go across Heat Ran, seeing as a Lucario is a fire is a fighting type. And yeah, here we go. Here's Heat Ran again. And here comes Inferno Overdrive. Oh god, this is just mean. <laughs> Welcome to the Gen 7 meta, I like. So that's three wins for me. This one he did a little bit better than the last one, but that's not really saying too much, seeing as how he got utterly destroyed in the last one. He did take down two Pokemon again. So this time it's me and Juanito again, and this one's his main galley team, back to my blue and orange McGee team. Um, now like I said, this match has mainly become a mind game, especially this fucking team. Um, it's just a fucking annoying team to fight. To be fair, there's only like three po out of these three out of all these six Pokemon he uses, three Pokemon are the ones that I find really annoying for completely different reasons. I don't find his Chansey, Gardevoir, or Arcanine to be that bad, but I do find the Galley can be really stressful if it's still around. All these Pokemon just kinda sort of balance each other out. So to me, Gastrodon is pretty much annoying because Gastrodon he always seems to know when to throw in Gastrodon out for the sake of just like uh wait um yeah, I think I should give Dragonite Lumberries for now on, because that will list though. But like, I think it's meant to sort of like slow down the team a little bit, but at the same time deal a lot of offensive damage. Skarmory has no moves, as like no attacking moves, so it's just main. Uh, it's bread and butter. It's just whirlwind. So if I had a chancey with taunt, if I had something with taunt, then that would have been way easier for me. But that's not the case for this team. And then the galley just sweeps the entire thing. So. For a while now, I've been wanting to give Ninetales Snow Warning, but I keep forgetting to do so. But this is the first time I actually did manage to do that. So, Juanito did not think I had Freeze Dry, and boom, there goes Gastrodon. That's already one Pokemon that I don't like from this team that's already down, and it makes me happy. So here comes Chansey, and I did Aurora Veil, which, to be honest with you, I have no idea what that move does. <laughs> it has some, it probably has something to do with just, like, def uh, defensive stats. Uh, like, at least taking hits a lot better than... Uh, without it. I think it only works with hail because I remember trying to do that move without hail and it did not work and I did not want to waste the turn using hail. I may want to remove that fourth move instead of hail replace it with a different move. I just don't know what move yet and Smogan says to use hail even with snow warning. I guess it makes sense if you're just going to be countering weathers with a little nine tails. Anyway, so here comes Chansey, and I decided to get in Mega Charizard X, power up my physical attack and speed. Here she talks, here she poisons me. Um, he should. He should either stay with Chansey or switch to Arcanine to lower my attack. But then again, the Gardevoir could potentially do a lot of damage. Yeah, Gardevoir is another Pokemon that I keep forgetting. It's a psych it's a fairy now. Psychic Fairy, to be exact. So I hope I don't go for Dragon Claw, because if he actually does switch into Gardevoir, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be really upset if I actually go, don't do Dragon Claw, please, I beg of you. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, no, I think, you see, even I'm thinking, Flare Blitz, here we go. Okay, that's enough to kill Chan. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay. Okay, that hurt me in the inside. I completely forgot that happened. Jesus. Oh my god, that was, that, that was painful. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, shit. <laughs> See, I'm not even battling it. This is already, like, pissing me off. So, here's Greninja against Juliet the Gardevoir, who is choice. Yep. That's, yeah. I use Dark Pulse like an any head instead of fucking Gunk Shot. <laughs> yeah, so... I turned myself into a dark type is the worst part. I was already a dark type and I just did that to myself. I could have just gunk shot at her and then boom. Oh, well, had I known that it was choice, I shouldn't even have done that in the first place. But I now I know that it can take a moon blast. But just not to bet on it more than once. Porygon Z time. Uh, Z conversion. But it's still fast as fuck because of its choice. So, I did increase Porygon Z's speed. That should be enough to... You know what? Actually, I shouldn't, like, rely too much. Oh my god, he decreased my special attack. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't really go too far with the fact that Greninja could take a Moon Blast. There's a possibility it couldn't, because I remember I had Aurora, Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil probably, like, increases my defense. So, oh god, I, that Gardevoir not lowered my special attack and it knocked out. I couldn't kill the Arcanine because of that. I'm pretty sure one, like, boost in special attack would have been enough to knock out Arcanine, but damn that Moonblast. Yeah, this match is definitely not going in my favor. Landers is literally the only Pokemon I have that I can really depend on. Dragonite's burned and it, can't, it lowers your physical attack. So... Yeah, I think I would be in a desperate situation of just using Landorus. He's obviously not going to stay with Arcanine. I would assume I, I should use Stealth Rock. I really should. But I'm afraid I might have played mind games and decided to switch into Dragonite or something. <sighs> oh, yeah, when you turned. <laughs> Why didn't I just use Stealth Rocks? Jesus. Here comes my burned Dragonite. Oh boy, he's totally not gonna Stealth Rock Whirlwind me. And I use Dragon Dance like an any head. I'm assuming it's fa I'm faster though, but still. I may wanna. I have weakness policy on, but I've been. I've been not been hit by any special super effective hits to do that. And he uses Whirlwind, brings out my Nine Tails with Snow Warning. Uh, I, if I'm faster, I would hope I use Aurora Veil. Please. I use Hypnosis. At least I put him to sleep. Whoop de doo. I think I should use Aurora Veil on this turn, but I'm afraid I switched to Dragonite. Yeah, please don't tell me I should switch to Dragonite. I switched to Dragonite. <laughs> oh god. You know what? Now it's all coming back to me. <laughs> The only thing I really remember from these matches is who won and who lost, but it's just how I won and how I lost. He woke up! Oh no! <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be the slowest match. That galley was gonna come out of nowhere and just kill me.